None of us know how someone's journey is going to go. The reality is none of us know which players are eventually going to achieve the highest levels of the game. The biggest thing we can all do is create the best environment possible. I've spent a lot of time working with parents and working with adults around children who are developing as, as people and developing as, as athletes. The big thing I would say is nobody has the one way that any particular person or, or athlete is going to develop within which that player can grow and develop and learn and go through the ups and downs and go through the setbacks and the adversity and the successes and the achievement. And so the adults around those young people are critically important in creating that environment where players feel like it's their environment. If they're playing with a level of self-consciousness that says, if this happens today, what are people going to think of me? Then we're putting them on a path to, to failure. Creating an environment where players can learn and grow and, and it be okay for them to take a step forward and a step backwards, it's very, very important. When they look to the adults, what message are we, are we giving? What sort of environment are we creating where, where kids, young players, feel like they can go through those moments of adversity and come out the other side with the safety of the people around them, encouraging them and supporting them to do that? The reality is there are so many factors involved with every young player's journey and every young player's environment that as coaches, we can't control all of those things. We never know for sure. So again, create the environment where as many young people, as many young players can develop and reach whatever the highest level of potential is that they might have. That's the job of coaches. That's the job of clubs is to create that environment, give every player the best possible opportunity, and then we see how those factors fall into place eventually. A big part of this is keeping kids playing the sport and enjoying it for long enough to come back again the following year and the following year and, and take them into those older teenage years. And, and then, like we say, see, see where the player's ability or the player's motivation takes them. The youth club staff put a, an excellent program together for kids to develop a, a love of the game and they obviously teaching them the sport itself, but helping them develop in, in every aspect. And that initial platform is, is critically important, you know, developing a, not just an understanding and an ability in the game, but a love for it.